Hi Libra, this is going to be your reading for the last week of January 2022. We're moving into Aquarius season. It's good primarily for Sun, Rising, Moon, Venus, or Mercury placement of Libra in tropical astrology, but it could resonate anywhere where Libra is significant in your natal chart. Check all your placements. If this doesn't resonate with you, Libra, check other readings here on this channel. You could find messages that you need when you watch readings for other parts of your chart as well. If you want to book a private reading with me, the link to my website is down in the description below. If you're new, welcome to Soma Chandra Tarot and and or Soma Chandra Libra. I'm going to post this on both channels. It's kind of the weekly tea. Subscribe and hit the bell so you know when I read for your sign on Soma Chandra Libra. If you're watching that here, you know that I mostly do love messages here, but I do a Celtic cross here on Soma Chandra Tarot for you guys. I try to every week as well. All right, let's get into it. Libra, it looks like an interesting week for you. First of all, I think you're feeling very set in your ways and you need quite a bit of space. Because we have a lot of loner cards here and cards that show that you want to be in king energy. I think you're going to be very straightforward, very matter of fact. I think you need a lot of, I don't know if it's alone time or just space right now. I think you're going through some heavy spiritual moments. And I also see you very focused on career um, and the 10th house. When you're going to have cyclical emotions, though, at the end of January, Libra, when you're on, you're on, and when you're off, you're off. Because the channel that came out for you in your human design, your human design activation is channel 360, mutation. If you follow human design, look and see if you have this um, channel activated. Look and see if you have gate 3 or gate 60, 60 activated. You may or may, may not. But this is how you're going to feel overall this week. He looks bored and frustrated and like he's looking for something. He or she is looking for something. And I do notice the two of wands here. Let's just go right to that. This is your catalyst for everything. The two of wands flipped itself into the reverse. I think you're kind of having like a back to the drawing board kind of week, Libra, where you're going to focus more on your personal goals. You might have been assessing something for a while and you're like, actually, I think I kind of need to assess myself and figure out what inspires you and lights you up. Don't be surprised if you feel moody this week or need a lot of space. What they have to say about the uh, pulse or the mutation of this channel is the 360 channel is unique in its on and off pulse of innovative energy. So you will be in an innovative energy. If you have any Aquarius or Aries in your chart, find it and use it. It will help you. The inherent inventive creativity of this channel is accompanied by periods of feeling uninspired, low energy, or even melancholy. When the off pulse occurs, leaving the individual without any creative sacral energy, the remedy is just to allow the melancholy to cycle and process in its own timing. Surrounding oneself with things that one finds inspiring and engaging can re-inspire the on periods of innovation. The 360 channel is highly individualistic and has the capacity to bring something completely new and mutative into the world. What it brings into the world cannot be planned. It comes only when the sacral response is leading the way. So it'll be like, boom, it'll hit you. So I do think that you're going to have cyclical emotions and feeling up and then feeling down. Right now, you're meant to hone in on something that's very individual and unique to you, Libra. Yeah, you're meant to be mutative at this time. Something is meant to change for you. This can't be planned. It's going to come from a sacral response. Now, in your human design, if your sacral center is defined, that will be easier for you to hone in on. If your sacral center is open and undefined, watch out for being conditioned by what you think the outside world wants. Open centers in our body seduce outside energy towards us, and we will do things based on what, what we think other people feel and other people think and other people want. But you will be open to a lot of um, inspiration this week. So if you have open sacral center, that's great. You can maybe get some outside influence to inspire you. It's really important when you feel low energy or like a low response and you're like, meh, nothing's really doing it for me. Like, I don't even really know what direction I'm going. Think about your personal goals. Think about how you can mutate and be different and bring something very individualistic into your life. What makes you you and how can you put that out in the world? 
and just process through the melancholy feelings. Everything that has an ending has a beginning and everything that has a beginning has an end. So I feel like you guys are going to kind of be looking for something. It'll be about timing. But with that on period will come innovation. So if you feel down all week, find the things that will inspire you because you look kind of bored and stuck a little bit here. But I feel like some other things are going on really good in your life because what came out of, I think this is the Quantum Oracle deck. Yeah, new supportive connections, the loving woman, the honoring path, fear is in reverse and great achievement is at the bottom of the deck, planning and action too. And I do have a 10th house activation for you in your tropical astrology. So I definitely think that you're gonna be very focused on structure, discipline, your life mission, your accomplishment, accomplishments, career, prestige. You're gonna be thinking a lot about all of those things. Some of you will meet a very loving woman or you will be a loving woman that someone else meets. This will be a new supportive connection. They could be an earth sign, they may be a redhead. They may have a dog. This may have to do with food and diet and health and wellness possibly, or that could be you in someone else's life. Be on the lookout for uh, maybe a loving woman or a water sign. They may help you on the honoring path, or you're just feeling like a loving person, woman or man, filled with love, meeting new people. There's an opportunity to. That might be the smart spark that you need. You are feeling good about yourself in a lot of ways right now. You feel like you're on an honoring path right now. If you've had fear, you're letting go of it, it would appear that you are focused on a great achievement. Yeah, you're just going to feel on and off and on and off. If you're wondering what to bring to the table, especially as an entrepreneur, think about what makes you an individual, even if it seems radical. Okay, we're in Aquarius season, they want us to radically shift, break glass ceilings, be innovative, be rebellious, do things we've never done before. It might just get you where you want to go in your 10th house. South node came out, check your south node placement. These are overdeveloped characteristics in your personality. You can always fall back on them. You may utilize a lot of those this week. But it's also a really good time to think about what you're really truly destined to release and let go of. But I kind of feel like you're going to be falling back on your old bag of tricks this week in a positive way. That's going to help get you through. Also, Virgo came out for you. Integrity, reverence, and service. Some of you will feel very dutiful this week. Your integrity and your morals and your standards will come into play. Your attention to detail. You will be very reverent in your work. Acts of service. You may be involved in acts of service charity work as well possibly but it's all surrounding the 10th house and your great achievements the new connections will come in as well just uh watch for those cyclic cyclical emotions because your overall energy for the end of the month is the moon some of you will feel kind of moody you'll be wandering in and out of different feelings again like the uh, human design activation says just let these emotions cycle through you they will come and go Listen to your intuition. There is a lot of untapped hidden potential when the moon comes out within you, Libra. That's why the two of wands has stopped looking outside of itself and starts looking back at your own emotions. Getting in touch with how you really truly physically feel and emotionally feel is like your compass in life, okay? Focusing on your feelings, even if they're heavy, don't ignore your intuition. What's driving you and what you're thinking about all the time look very similar. We've got the hermit and the high priestess. Well, this is the esoteric brother and sister of the zodiac. And you see yourself as the tower. I think that you're going to have some interesting epiphanies this week that cause you to do a lot of self-reflection and spend a lot of time alone in prayer and meditation, you may have some radical shifts in your spiritual beliefs, the way you perceive things. The hermit needs to reflect through self-reflection. Everything he needs to know is within. Transmuting knowledge into wisdom. And what you're thinking about all the time is, how can I have better intuition? Well, first of all, use it. Listen to it. You will be listening to what your intuition is telling you with the moon and the high priestess uh, heightened intuition this week. Journal your downloads and then check them against reality to see if you are having downloads. 
if you can. That's what I do. That's what I do when I question my intuition. And I question my intuition all the time because intuition can be very subtle. But I see a lot of self-focus. I also feel like you need a lot of time alone. Deep within in recent past, the Eight of Pentacles and the Four of Cups. What are you doing for work? You look bored as shit. Look at her. She's like, I mean, ugh. <sighs> She's sick of the martini here. I think you have been putting a lot of work into something, but now you're starting to emotionally reevaluate or very recently you did. I heard someone just say the other day that January is like a series of Mondays. It's like January just sucks. It's like bleh all the time. I do think you're going to be feeling a little bleh and you may also be feeling a little blue. To all things, there is a season. You might be kind of going through some powerful spiritual moment. I definitely see you waiting for inspiration. Yeah, very much so. Your main action this week, though, is the King of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Okay, I think you want your way. And I don't think you want to deal with any bullshit either. <laughs> the King of Swords in us um, is authority and structure and discipline. And he cuts through to the truth and he also defines the truth. Master strategist is the King of Swords. He likes to get the last word too. I think you feel like you really need to stand in your intellectual authority and power. I don't feel like you want to show too many people a lot of emotion this week, Libra. You're trying to create really beautiful balance and synthesis. That's a beautiful image for the King of Swords. They call it the Muse of Voices. Nifty. But also the Nine of Wands. Like, stay off my lawn. That's your final outcome, too. Seven of Wands and Nine of Wands. I need space to think. I don't, I think you're really thinking about something here. I feel like you guys, you seem to feel like you need to disconnect from your emotions right now. You look kind of guarded and worn down. Life is kind of like a battlefield. Like I'm still in it general when the nine of wands comes out, but I need a minute. Mommy needs a minute. Mommy needs a minute. You might need some alone time to figure some stuff out. Conversely, you may be dealing with a, a person that maybe is coming off as overbearing and you've been guarded against them. Maybe they've been guarded against you. See that for what it really is. But I feel like this is your action this week, Libra, being like, I'm going to get the last word here. And I really can't deal with outside influence at the moment. You may also have a person around you that you are withdrawn from and thinking of. This person might be trying to intuitively and telepathically connect to you. If you don't like that, send the energy back and reflect it back to them. Um, some people use mirrors to protect themselves, like they visualize mirrors. You can also use white light or dark light to shield yourself if you feel like people that you don't want to connect with energetically are trying to connect with you. This person may be around you, that you may work with them, they may be bored. I hear that you don't want to talk to them right now. Okay. The way you see yourself is interesting. I think you're going to have some kind of epiphany this week. And I think it might uh, revolve around what you see as best in alignment for you. Because you see yourself as the tower. And I was like, oh, good tower, bad tower. You see yourself as the tower. Like you're the tower. You are the tower. I am the eject button. I am, I am the radical shift in my own life. I'm chaos. I'm mayhem, maybe. You don't seem like mayhem. So I think this is all happening within. So I clarified it and I got the hangman and the lovers, all major arcana. This is happening at a soul level. It's a spiritual lesson you're working through. With the hangman to the lovers here with the tower, what I see happening here for you is that at some point in the next seven days, you guys are going to have a sudden radical shift in perception of how you see love, harmony, relationships, total value alignment, you may make some major shifts and see that some things are more important to you than other things. What's really your perfect match? You're going to surrender and let go and just say the universe will align me with that, with that which is meant for me. And that's all you can do is wait and discover that some of you are just going to have a massive kind of realization or blowout with a Pisces or a Gemini or a Scorpio, but it could change the relationship and the way you see relationships. Hidden factors that you're not aware of that support you or hinder you. This might be a hindrance. 
the Empress and the Five of Wands. Okay, so I have strong masculine and feminine energy coming out of you this week, Libra. Nice yin and yang balance for you. I feel like you're kind of amazeballs and you have competition. I look at this one woman. These people are climbing a ladder to get somewhere. And she's looking at the Empress like, who does she think she is? Well, I'm the Empress. I'm the queen of all queens. Right now, I'm activating a king and two spiritual loners. So piss off. I think, I think you're going to be really benevolent and loving. I think you'll handle situations where you feel like there's tension and competition gracefully. You'll provide creative solutions. That's what you're being asked to do at this time. And the way to deal with haters is to just kill them with kindness and be dignified. Conversely, there may be a woman around you, an empress or a Taurus or Libra that feels tension with you. This may change the way you see that person and that relationship. This person could also be a mother figure or a boss or a leader to you in some way. You may suddenly feel differently about the relationship, but the way you're feeling overall is the six of wands and the sun in reverse. Oh, things could be better, but things could be worse, right? I think you lack a little bit of clarity right now. I think you're lacking just a bit of optimism. The sun is still here. It's just in reverse. It's like you're not totally down, but I have the moon and the sun on the table when day is night and night is day. There's those cyclical emotions. I think overall you're feeling really proud with the king of swords, the six of wands, these loner cards and the nine and the seven of swords, you're going to peer aloof to other people. Yeah, you're going to appear aloof. Like you don't have a lot to say. Some of you are very proud of something. You may be a little afraid to shine your light as well because people in your environment are making you feel like they're against you. Be prepared to be challenged this week in your ideas and actions and be prepared to shield yourself from negative energy. Stand up to authority, intelligence, and facts with authority, intelligence, and facts. Life may be a little bit of a game of chess, and I think you want to come out on top. Make it clear to other people that care about you and know you that you're a little triggered maybe, or you just need a little bit of space because you're working on achievements, you're working on prestige. I feel like some of you won't get back to emails or text messages or friends that call you this week. I just think you feel like you need a little bit of space to work through your emotions and a little bit of boredom and work through these radical spiritual moments that you're having that are causing you to be really kind of maybe confused and emotional and turning around and thinking about what your personal goals really are at this time so you can pick a path to move forward. It's definitely an awakening. Very much so. It's an awakening. All right, Libra. So that's the last week in January. I hope this resonates and I hope it helps. Fall back on those South Node traits, but let go of what you can. Definitely a week of integrity and perseverance and reverence and acts of service. You will be working hard, being very structured and disciplined. You're very focused on your accomplishments, career, and life missions. But wait for that, you know, that inspiration of individuality, when it hits, it'll hit. Be prepared for on and off energy and feelings. Look for inspiration to get you out of the boredom. Yeah, so you can keep moving forward. All right, Libra, that's your reading for the end of the month. I'm always listening to the universe for you. Take care. I love you guys. I'll see you next time.